Uh, well, it started out um, as a project for university. They asked us to just basically make a film and if it could include a moral dilemma. Uh, so from there I started to look around for some inspiration. I think it's generally better in a film to raise a question than answer it. So if people come away feeling that there's been a question, question asked of them and they want to answer it, then that's like the, kind of the best response you can get rather than making up a question and then telling people the answer. I think it's a very boring way to make a film. Basically one massive excuse for me to go to lots of comic conventions and buy lots of stuff. Um, yeah, it's just really nice to go along and talk to the people behind it and find out a bit more about the difference between the independent and the more mainstream conventions. Obviously the idea came to me in the park uh, when I was watching birds. Uh, and it's very specific to crows. I saw someone say, oh, I like the pigeons video that I made. And I was like, this wouldn't work with pigeons because they, they move like this. And crows, are the, they walk, they basically have a skeleton. They walk like they have shoulder blades. And the moment I noticed this, I was like, oh, they really need arms. For me, the best part of it was hiring a tube train, um, which I had for two hours. And uh, you got about 40 seconds in the tunnel. But we had a system of, of signals that all they had to do was do that. And the train would stop and all the lights would go out. It was like, it's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I am a painter and I had an idea for a painting and realised it wouldn't work in paint so decided to make a film instead and so I made a film and that was the film and that's, that's, that's it really.